Uh, Craig in New Braunfels, which is just south of us here. Uh, I think, is this correct, Craig? Are you asking us, do people have a right to be stupid? That, that's a very uh, simple version of it. I didn't know how better to word it. Okay, because the answer has to be yes. You, you you have a right to be stupid. It's not like we can even impose, you know, you're not allowed to be stupid because some people evidently can't help it. Yeah, if only that was the thing we could do. You know, I think it's that they can't help but thing. maybe that's the thing that's tripping me up because I've always disagreed with this <laughs> with everyone I've asked. And for me, it's because I tend to equate stupid with a higher chance to cause harm. And I ask myself, do people have a right to cause harm when they could have otherwise? And so I've always fallen on the no, people don't have a right to be stupid. So am I tripped up about that? Well, well, kind of. I mean, I'm, I'm in agreement with you. For me, when I talk about someone or something being stupid, it's generally the notion, it's not like you're low IQ or you're unintelligent or you're uninformed. It's you should have known better and you could have known better and you were just careless enough to do this damage. It, it'd be kind of like somebody can't isn't to be faulted if they're clumsy and they wind up doing damage. However, if you're clumsy, you take extra steps to make sure you're not doing damage to other people's things. And so that's kind of what we would expect from someone who... Uh, might be a little I've, more careless with thought. I've always taken the same approach. Like ignorance itself is not a problem. Uh, I I try hard not to be upset at someone for not knowing something I feel like they should know. It's a question of what do you do with that information? Like, do you try to figure it out? Willful ignorance to me is yes. much more damning than just someone not knowing stuff. Yeah, I actually canceled debate a debate that I was going to be doing live. Uh, because of the pandemic. And then they wanted me to do it remotely and I was on board with it. And then the person who I was supposed to be debating went on Twitter and started sharing anti-mask conspiracy theorist crap and I canceled the debate. I don't want their money. I'm not going to promote them. They What they're doing is stupid and dangerous. They're encouraging people uh, to increase their health risks and the health risks of others during a pandemic. So I canceled it. So, okay. So this might be looked at as if you have a, a universal right to free speech, you have the right to say stupid things, and you might apply that to actions as well. Like so if, if, a, I, if a belief I, is based on... Go ahead, go ahead. I have a hard time just you're connecting stupidity or ignorance to free will or uh, freedom of speech, someone's rights. Like, people can be stupid. I mean, like Matt said, you can't stop that from happening. Um, again, my focus in that sense would be people who ought to know better but choose not to. That's yeah, where I would the, reserve my anger. There's also the, the the harm. There's the, you know, the whatever limits we put on free speech, and I'm not a free speech absolutist. I'm fine with the notion of, hey, you shouldn't shout fire in a crowded theater unless there's actually a fire, um, and that libel and slander and things that are done to harm and hurt people where there's damages, that those things apply. Uh, but somebody honestly being wrong, um, I get a, it's a fine line. I get a lot of stories sent to me from people saying, here's a pastor saying something. Maybe that's a topic you want to cover. And a lot of times if it's a pastor saying something I believe is wrong, that in itself isn't a story. They're allowed to be wrong. They can be wrong. That is not malicious per se. It's, it's like when a pastor is saying, okay, we believe this, so let's hurt other people with that, whether they put it in those words or not. That's where I, I would focus my attention on. Yeah. But I don't know how you would ever stop ignorance, even if you could. Yeah. What what well, constitutes me, what, what, also, what, what, what's sticking what in makes, your craw? What makes up stupidity? Is it just someone who disagrees <laughs> with me on stuff? You know, is it what not everything is a fact that people don't know? There are differences of opinions that I think oh, that person's stupid about something. That's not true. They're so wrong Craig, about something. They're different about something. Craig, what's specifically sticking in your craw? Maybe we could, maybe with a specific we can do better. Uh, so I think th there's a few specific things, but I think the one that's brought up here, since Matt wanted to talk about more current events things, is uh, mask, uh, the, the right to not wear a mask. Yeah. Um, if one would consider not wearing a mask for stupid reasons to be a stupid action, then is that case of stupid therefore not a right, and therefore that person does not have a right to not wear a mask for that stupid reason.
Yeah, I think as soon as we have legislation that says you're now required to wear a mask, you no longer have the right to not wear a mask unless you can provide something to show that there's extenuating circumstances. There's a handful of people reasons. who have PTSD or something where it's going to be m m more difficult for them to wear a mask, et cetera. By and large, everybody can wear a mask. That to me isn't just a stupidity thing, though. That's not like, oops, I don't know how to wear one. I don't want to wear it. Like, that has to do with you believe some conspiracy about it. You right. are choosing to be rebellious and hurt people for the hell of it. Or you believe misinformation. That to me, that doesn't strike me as just pure, I didn't know a fact. I don't. It is very much like it. a five year old stamping their foot and going, You're not the boss of me. Well, guess what? When it comes to all of us living in a country, when we take actions in order to safeguard the public health because we have to share space, that means there is some latitude in what, what things we can and can't impose on people. Yes, I, I'm pretty much convinced that the government can and should be allowed to say you are required to wear a mask in public when engaging with other people. You, can, you don't have to wear a mask at home. You don't have to wear a mask in your house if you don't want to. You can stand out, you can put your lawn chair down at the end of your driveway, six feet away from the sidewalk, and sit there and rah, 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 you stupid mask wearing people, I'll never do. You can do that all you want. That's how you exercise your freedom. But if you're going to go right. out in public and potentially put other people's health at risk, yeah, we get to stop that. I hear you. I think maybe that stupid, like in this conversation, I've had another thought that maybe the word stupid is so broad in general that maybe when I'm trying to perform syllogisms and whatnot, I'm making some invisible equivocations. Could be. It's, yeah. I think you're right in that that's a, it's, a, it's a word that we toss around a little too freely. Okay. Well, uh, that's really all I had. The, the other thing I'll just cool. call in. Thanks and, for the question. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks, Craig. What were you going to say, Hammond? No, that was it. Thanks for the question. I, like you said, that to me doesn't strike me as ignorance. That's not stupid. That's right. People are choosing not to wear masks for whatever their reasons are, and they may be bad reasons. They are bad reasons. But that strikes me as very different than someone who just doesn't know stuff that we might expect them to know, which yeah. is often forgivable. And and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a mild... Uh, rant here for, let's say, less than a minute. I have a friend named Karen, who I love dearly, and it annoys the shit out of me that the world that we live in has become the place where we're using people's names as pejoratives. Karen's, Chad's, whatever, Stan's, pick it out. The thing is, there are real people with these names, and there's real consequences to it. But what we're actually doing when we do that, we are inventing new stereotype labels. We have characterized a certain type of person. We've come up with a label. If you're going to do that, if you're desperate to do that, why can't you come up with a label that's not already in use for someone else who might be a good person? The Karen that I know isn't a Karen. The Chad that I met last week isn't a Chad. And I'm sure someday that we'll have some sort of asshole label where somebody's being a Matt. And whether or not I am that Matt or not um, is an issue. So I get it. It's a, it's, a, it's a quickie little thing. It's a way to separate and point out and say, look, look, that person's being a, a Karen. And I'd just like for us to try and do a little better. By all means, call out assholes. Call out people who are being rude. Call out the people who, who do this type of stuff. But we can use labels that aren't going to disparage those people who aren't part of that group as well. And thus endeth my rant. That is a problem I've never had to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being such a hemmet, man. I know. Everywhere I go. <laughs>